abominable, the animal section. And they call it that because there are actually chickens and hens under your seats right now as we speak. <laughs> they were quiet because they were scared of dogs in the car. Anyway, what, we're, what I'm going to ask you to do is to hold all of your applause till the end of the piece. And anyone who doesn't do that will be hunted down by Cooper and I at the end of the concert. <laughs> Sans songs composed a celebration of all the animal creation, a carnival, a jamboree, a musical menagerie. And though he poked a lot of fun, it was all affectionately done. He plundered with a wicked thrill Rossini's Barber of Seville, and other tunes he freely chose from Offenbach and Berlioz. Although it's only fair to tell, he did steal from himself as well. Now it's time we took our places and showed our Philharmonic graces and praise a feather, fur, and fin. Let's hope the maestro's listening in. The lion. The lion is the king of beasts, his crown a golden mane. He has an air of dignity and yellow-eyed disdain. His paws, which look so velvety, aren't only there for show. So if he asks you round for tea, it's wiser not to go. Thank you. 